Good evening. Um, my name is Jackie Byers, and tonight I want to introduce you to um, the most recent work from one of my very favorite authors, Jacqueline Woodson. This particular publication is called Each Kindness. Um, as I said, it was written by Jacqueline Woodson. It um, is illustrated by E.B. Lewis. The two teamed up previously to um, produce the work The Other Side, which most of us have um, either heard, read in uh, Miss Causey or Miss Summerlin's class because it's just such a great piece of children's literature. Um, each kindness is going to, I believe, stand up to the test of time and prove itself to be a significant piece of literature for children. Um, this particular publication won the Coretta Scott King Award, and um, it is a beautifully poignant story of having a new child come into the classroom. Uh, this is an experience that I believe that most of us as teachers are going to have at some point in time, um, if not every year or at many times throughout the year. That's often a very, very difficult transition for children, and this book speaks to um, the transition that those children have to make. Um, one of the things that our that we have focused on in our pedagogy classes is creating a supportive community uh, within our classroom of children who support and encourage each other and I believe that this particular text or this particular book would greatly um, lend itself to those to that type of class building that type of classroom environment um, I want to share just one brief excerpt from the book with you that speaks to the title of the book, which again is called Each Kindness. Um, in this particular excerpt, the teacher has brought a bowl of water into the classroom and a stone, and she is asking the children to drop the pebble into the bowl of water and to watch the ripples that that disturbance causes within the body of water. Uh, the text says, Miss Albert had brought a big bowl into the classroom and filled it with water. We all gathered around her desk and watched her drop a small stone into it. Tiny waves rippled out away from the stone. This is what kindness does. Miss Albert said, each little thing we do goes out like a ripple into the world. Um, as I said, this book will speak volumes when it comes to uh, teaching tolerance and diversity and inclusion into uh, the classrooms that we create. It also will lend itself beautifully to um, a writing workshop where we are wanting to provoke the children to think deeply about um, their actions or something that they have experienced themselves. This particular text shares how the new student into the classroom struggled to um, make new friends um, and to be included within the group and those are everyday struggles that children deal with in the classroom um, day in and day out. So as we are trying to build um, a community that of individuals who exhibit character and um, tolerance and respect for others and compassion and care, caring and concern, such as we have seen in the classrooms that we have recently been observing, this particular book would be um, an excellent vehicle to use uh, to um, introduce the children 
to the kind of people that we want them to be. Um, they can easily put themselves either in the new student's position or in the position of the existing um, friends. So again, the book is titled Each Kindness. Um, it's by Jacqueline Woodson, and it's illustrated by E.B. Lewis. And I certainly hope that you would consider adding it to your classroom library. And if not adding it to your library, at least put it on your must-read list. Thank you so much, and I hope you all have some good reads.